All right, what's going on guys? So today is November 1st. Yesterday was Halloween. So on October 30th, I got myself a 2005 Honda CBR 600RR. That was on the 30th. Um, I didn't get the chance to ride it on the 31st well, uh, yesterday, um, it was Halloween, because I was I was in Tampa all day, so I didn't get the chance to ride. By the time that I got back home, it was uh, it was late at night. Not really late at night, honestly, but it was later in the night, and I didn't want to go out because I had driven six hours. So uh, we'll stop a little bit later so I can show off this bike. But we're gonna go to the gas station, top her off, and uh, and then we'll pull over somewhere and I can show you her. All right. Just look, just look to see that the we have enough oil in it. Oh yeah. Yep, there's oil in there. Okay. God. How light is that right there? Can't even see. Alright. So, so it's um uh, one down, five up. Friction point on it is pretty far out, so I'm still kind of getting used to that.
talk about this bike. I love it though, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> two brothers exhaust was louder than this
leave, leave the bike running for a minute. But here it is. 22,990 miles on it. Okay. Time is wrong. I don't know what that blue light is. I hope it's not the fault issue light. But yep, I got this on October 30th. As soon as I got out of work, I drove down to Hollywood, Florida, checked it out and decided I wanted it. The fairings were originally white and he, they were painted black, but that's okay because I'm probably gonna replace them anyways and get Repsol, Repsol ones. But we'll start from the back. So, Yoshimura RS5 pipe, Undertale. I had, I love Undertale exhaust. I love Undertale exhaust. So I see down here, this guy's put this tape over the, the swing arm here, so I bet you he's hiding something. I bet you it's got a big old dent or something right there, but... Should be, hopefully it'll be fine. Tire, rear tire's new, in good shape. See, the plastic's got a little bit of wear and tear, obviously, but that's fine. Like I said, I'm going to replace them for Repsol. It's got this cool little compartment right here. You can see they cut the, um, uh, they cut the uh, fairing right here, so they can put this here. And this here you can just put in. You can put in. Just in a compartment for uh, what, uh, a wallet, keys, whatever. See, a little wear and tear on this, some of these plastics. The blinkers also aren't working, but the rear the rear blinkers are working. Headlights work. I'm not a big fan of these pointy things here. I'm gonna I probably get those removed and change those out. We got one here, one here, one here, one there. Don't like that that much. This here comes out a little easier than it should be it shouldn't be doing that but that's okay it is that's not a huge deal either like I said it's um shifted normal so it's not GP shifted which I appreciate and overall the bike's just in way better shape than the ZX-10R that I got rid of um, last week same thing over here, they got this tape right here, so I bet you he's hiding something. But yeah, no, it's a sweet, it's a sweet bike. I'm loving it. Loving it. All right. Well, I'm going to get on back home, I guess. Do I want to take, um... You know, I'll take uh, I'll take Indian Town Road home. That way, I get to show off the bike a little bit.
Pretty handy. <laughs> 